Did you guys feel anything about being called an alternative couple? Not one thing. Well, now I, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, just times have changed. Uh, it, it was it was a little. It was just strange for me because I was like, "What are the kids at school gonna think about me?" Yeah. Because I'm like doing this counterculture thing. Like I was like, "Yeah," but it, it just wasn't. That's over. hilarious because about one season later, you're in literally full, full drag. drag. <laughs> yeah. So any That's weirdness you happened. felt about <laughs> he's like it was being only gonna escalate. You're about to become Bruh. full drag cookie, Simone. Bruh. See ya. But dude, like literally just committing to those we it was it was fun, man. And fun, a lot of people funny. a lot of people don't get a chance to be bigger than themselves. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. They are in this box that their parents have set up for them or just the society that they're in is really rigid and they think this is me and it'll always be me and I'll never explore anything else. And it's, I just feel like you can miss out on a lot of life mm -hmm. uh, if you don't get that chance to just Engage in the arts. I'm not saying you have to be a cross dresser or anything like that, but right. to I mean that's that's expand. that that mm -hmm. comes that's mm -hmm. com that comes with acting that I love so much is like whether it's specifically a part you're playing that's opening you up to something you wouldn't have done otherwise, mm -hmm. like wear full drag, um, or like the experiences on set, like or going on location somewhere, like as actors, you do get exposed to a bunch of shit that you wouldn't oh, yeah. otherwise. Yeah, and I sure. do think it makes you feel like, I don't know, empathy for more things. And it just like stretches your boundaries. You can't yeah. just be this one idea that you have of yourself and like you're and I'm not that's pretty, and uncomfortable. That's pretty yeah. cool because, you know, mm, mm, other sets that I've been on with that, like they, I don't know. I just feel like you kind of like went into it open-minded. Like I never felt that on set with you that you felt it like it was any. Oh, from the way. alternative thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, it was just like a thought because you know I played football, of right? And, so a thought know, of like, what is the team going to say? Gonna think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no one cares. I yeah, mean, right. Freaking yeah! I'm like, hey, I'm getting paid, mother. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember like when I like obviously you guys didn't play that couple, but like I was so. Yeah, I was just so worried about that part of my life being speculated. Like, obviously, on that, or on no, 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 on Pretty Little Liars yeah, when I did that. A, obviously, that was late, late, way later, right? and we were yeah. like sexualized and yeah. all of that. But it's a, it's an, it's an interesting thing. Like, even when you're when you're playing that, to, to try on those things that you, that you don't, you know, that you aren't. Right. Ultimately, I think it's good because as actors, you got to meet it with like compassion, so or you just open that up you to totally it is. are, but like haven't come to yeah like it was just right. such an interesting road for me once that little nugget or presumption which i honestly they say all my characters have this <laughs> undertone but mm -hmm. once that presumption was like of being gay known and yeah recognized they're like all your characters have been gay icons <laughs> they all turned me <laughs> hmm. and i was like okay um so the the following is strong um but yeah, it's just it's just hard. I don't know what this has to do with this, but that no, that later was my journey down that little road. <laughs> yeah, no, us, us, I'm uh, no, it does have to do it because yeah, I'm a little curious about that because yeah, you played like a uh, like an important role and a lesbian on Pretty Little Liars yeah. and like and I and re that's that's representation for people. So yeah. how people like that hits people people's hearts like when they see it they're like mm, that's, that's me you're representing them like it, it does do something voice a bit, it's yeah. the first time art like i was like oh that's what it can do yeah and then um i i remember really early on i had to i clarified in in a pod like they were like what's something that's different about you and your character and i had to make sure that i said like i'm not gay you know what I mean? Mm. And like, I had a boyfriend at that time and like whatever, but just the fact that I felt like it was so necessary to like, you know. Yeah. To even clear, point it out. Yeah, to even point it out. Mm. Um, and I wonder if you would now, like obviously we've come so far and especially living in LA, like, I don't know, LGBTQ, gayness, I queerness, am. all Q. of it, all, all of it is like, pretty it feels like pretty like normal and right. like i don't even think about in that, it right, in LA, yeah. right. I, I mean think i mean society's moving forward it, it's dope like it doesn't feel it's not even like a fucking thought now in la but i guess in small towns it still oh, and most people. big towns did you get shit from your family for it well they would have had to watch it for me to get okay shit. okay no because yeah, yeah I, had, I had a buddy who who uh but i that's why they didn't watch it 
See, oh, that, see that? That's see what that. I was curious about because I had a buddy who played a, a, like a, a gay football player in like a pretty decently big movie, and it was like a whole thing with his like ultra religious family. Like, Wait, it was, like, was that whole... the movie where like like the whole paradigm of everything is switched over? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, never mind. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. They made this movie where like straight was like. Gay. And oh, where gay they make was where they make straight, straight the minority was, yeah, ostracized is weird. The ostracized minority. Uh, no, that's a good way to explore that dynamic. Yeah, though. Like, yeah that's great. Really but no, it wasn't that. But no, it was like a like a just a great like high school movie, and he just happened to play a gay character. Yeah. and his his morally religious right like not they weird. yeah yeah it's so <laughs> strange that any anyone... I believe one of their responses. Okay, you you can do that, but just keep keep it all away from me. Just oh keep it all away from wow. Me. Make sure you send the money home. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Let me cash them checks. You can do that. Just keep it away from me. From me. me. And I'm just like, wow. If, honestly, it was it was such a revolutionary role for me. Like, my own identity, what I felt like uh, people were genuinely, and I could feel them, right? Like, Relating. what this yeah. was doing to them. Yeah. But then also, like, Shay's got that aloof thing going on, too. She's, like, cool like that. But also just, you know... Not feeling, not feeling weird about it, but then sometimes we'd break apart and she's like, and this is why I go home and wear a nightie just to remember I'm a girl. And like, huh. so it was kinda, I don't know. I, I had no problem doing it on set. I hated being reminded that like she was aware of it, mm. you know? Um, but that, like, I think we had really nice chemistry overall and I think it was really lovely, but I think a lot of those little details just contributed to my distress about that question. And I was on that show for a period of like seven, seven years, over seven years. Right. Yeah. And so just my whole idea of that, it just changed over those seven years, like mm-hmm. my sexual identity, like my thoughts about it being out, like all of it, mm-hmm. you know? And it's like, yeah, it changes all the time so it's like yeah 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 life's more fluid exactly than, uh, way than more anyone fluid. lets yeah. you believe right sure yep well, yeah life's mm-hmm. way more fluid and everything everything is on a spectrum everything, everything yeah. every single thing is on a spectrum yep so Continuum. you can find yourself on any point of it at any time like and it yep. fluctuates yep it's those boxes, man. It, it is a weird thing that we do try to force people into boxes. And that, that's the same with, like, colorism, like, whatever, choosing political parties. There's always this, like, polemic thing. And people want to say, this is you. This is going to be you. And it, it's the only way you can be in this society. Yeah. Or go to that society. Yeah. And it's like, uh, we're kind of just people. We wake up, our breath smells in the morning. <laughs> we don't have to eat and shit. It's like, why put up those boundaries on everybody? Just just live life. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah we all need mm-hmm. a bidet on our crusty asses. <laughs> like, um, you know what I everybody think? Everybody poops. You know what I think? Bidets would put a lot more ease and awareness around anal regression like like that <laughs> listen well, that's not real. do you know how Hold you know how on. wait wait you know how freud was like there's all this so, <laughs> all right tell me more so, so, so. how do we get here no 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 <laughs> he said there were all those stages that you could stop at like the oral stage the anal stage the this that and the other stage i feel like a lot of us were shamed in that anal stage and that's why it's such a big mm. deal for us to take a crap right or or to fart and like nobody farts especially women and, blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, and there's yeah. so much shame around <laughs> the culture but it's also like we keep it in the dark we keep it in the shadows girl clean that thing make it a part of your daily routine (laughs) feel that thing give it some love and realize that your poops can be helped they can come out easier it doesn't have to be a shameful experience it doesn't have to smell and be all up in there the gas can come out thank you no one should feel shame around something as natural as i know but something had to have happened for it it to become so well i guess it's because we started wearing fancy clothes and like being like you're near stocks yeah yeah, exactly exactly wardrobe i mean if everyone just walked around naked i think we would we would be less uh, looser with it yeah you know yeah and yeah. realize that hair just grows everywhere. <laughs> and like, Facts. I don't know, they're sugaring. Okay, I told you guys about sugaring. Yes. Sugaring the Tell the technique. audience, tell the audience about sugaring. Sugaring, sugaring. is a new <clears throat> alternative to waxing where they take a scrub and a paste, just rub it all up on your stuff. Your hair. Then take like a scraper, think windshield wiper scraper for the snow. Mm. In the like ice. a squeegee. And then, 
and it just lightly comes yeah. off. Yeah, and I think it's like a little bit of a like a ble- like there's there's a little bit of like okay, it's gonna come off anyway. Mm. Nice. Sugaring. What, what were we saying? Before? But how do you feel? That anal theory is actually pretty cool, right? I've never spoken this, uh, you know, extensively <laughs> about anuses, um, but uh, the anal regression. Now, <laughs> this is yeah. turning into a different podcast. <laughs> <laughs>